Of all his sons, Jacob loved Joseph the best. He rewarded Joseph with a beautiful coat of many colors. Joseph's brothers were jealous. One day Joseph said to his brothers, listen to the dreams I've had. And he goes on to describe dreams in which um, the sun and the moon and the stars all bow down to him. And the implication of the dreams that he talks about are that his family is the sun and the moon and the stars, that sort of thing. And they're going to be bowing down to him. He also sees um, sheaves of wheat and there's one that's supposed to be him and the others are his family and they're bowing down to him. And this just makes the brothers even matter. You're already dad's favorite and now and he makes you this extraordinary coat but now you're also telling us you're having dreams that we're all bowing down to you. Come on bro, this is not working for us. So the sons of Jacob were tending flocks in the field. Now this had already We've already seen in the Old Testament, and you'll see when you read it, that his other sons were pretty wicked men. They had done some murdering, um, adultery, things like that. So not very great people. So while they were tending the flocks, Jacob says, Hey, Joseph, my favorite son, go and check on your brothers, which I'm sure endeared him to them even more. So they see him coming from far away, and they said, Oh, look, here comes the dreamer. Let's kill him, said one, and throw him, his body into this pit. That's a good idea, said another one, and we'll see what happens to his dreams. But Reuben, the oldest son, said, no, let's not kill him. Let's just throw him in the pit. And he had planned Reuben was going to come back and rescue Joseph later, but no one knew that. So the brothers stole Joseph's coat and dumped him into this pit as well. Reuben left and was absent when a caravan of Ishmaelites came. Now these are descendants of Abraham's other son, Ishmael, when he married his wife's servant, Hagar, and they had a child together. The brothers sold Joseph to them for 20 pieces of silver. The caravan carried Joseph to Egypt. When Reuben returned, he cried, the boy is gone, what shall I do? And the brothers decided to lie to Jacob. They stained Joseph's coat with animal blood and brought it to Jacob and said, we found this multicolored coat and some blood and rips on it. Do you know whose it could be? And he says, oh my gosh, it's my son Joseph. And he's very upset. Well, the caravan carried Joseph south to Egypt and he was bought by a man named Potiphar. Joseph's story is incredible. And for those of us who go through hard times, it's an inspirational story because sometimes when things get really hard, we wonder where God is and why he's having us go through this. And this story is amazing because it shows that in everything God has a plan. And even when we have to go through something incredibly difficult, he has not forgotten us.